Hi everybody, I'm sorry I can't be with you today. The cassowary is such an important species and particularly given that this is the first recovery team meeting since the cassowary was listed as one of the 20 birds for recovery in Australia's threatened species strategy, I thought I'd send you this message through YouTube. I'd like to start by acknowledging the traditional owners up there in the wet tropics and acknowledge that they have been coexisting with the cassowary for many thousands of years. The cassowary is now a targeted species in Australia's threatened species strategy. It's one of 20 birds that we've made a commitment to as the Australian Government to reverse the declining trajectory, to save it from extinction and grow its numbers in the wild. And that's something that I was really delighted to, to advise Minister Hunt on and for him to take my recommendation that the cassowary needed to be one of those birds. Cassowaries to me are really an enchanting relic from Gondwana land. And for me, when I first met Ms Cass on Liz's property, I had an instant connection with cassowaries. So I can understand why in far north Queensland they're important to you as well. As you know, they're the world's heaviest bird and I tell people down here in southeastern Australia that they're the only bird I know that has its own natural stack at. They're important for the rainforest, they distribute seeds, they're an umbrella species and most importantly they're important to you, they're important to the people of far north Queensland. I saw cassowaries on your school logos, on various non-government and business logos, I saw them everywhere so it was very clear to me how important they are to the people of far north Queensland. So what's needed for recovery? Well, I think you guys know more about that than I do as the Commissioner and indeed I'm relying on you to come up with a plan and to implement the plan to save this species. The three things that I understand are important are habitat and particularly there it's about habitat protection, habitat restoration and habitat reconnection. The second thing of course is managing the impacts of traffic and I know that we can do that in Australia uh, around our schools to protect our children and in so many other places so I know that we can do it for these remarkable birds that we treasure as well. And the third thing that's needed is responsible pet ownership. What I learned when I was in far north Queensland and what the scientists tell me is that dogs are a problem for cassowaries. So habitat, managing traffic and responsible pet ownership I think are the three things that are crucial for the cassowary's future. So my invitation to you today is to think about how I can help you as the Commissioner and how the Australian Government programs can help you to develop a plan and implement a plan to save the cassowary. I'm optimistic that we can recover the cassowary. If we give up on species like the cassowary, we give up on being Australian and I won't do that and I know you won't. And I'll do my best here in Canberra and I know that you guys up there in far north Queensland will do your best as well. We owe it to the cassowary, we owe it to ourselves, and we owe it to our children and our future generations to save this remarkable bird, the second heaviest bird in the world, and this beautiful, incredible creature that wanders through the rainforest and reminds us of Gondwana land and all of the things that are important to be Australian. So best of luck today. I hope you work together efficiently and effectively. I know you will and I'm looking forward to hearing how the day goes. Thank you.